Katie Meyer, Katie Meyer, present and future, visible and invisible. For we want to know, and we want to know why she committed suicide, and I want to know if she really did commit suicide. For what's hidden, and what's hidden behind black, and the God and the saints will reveal the answers to my questions. This is going to get good. You guys ready? We're not doing the circle on this. We're going all the way. Here we go. First two coming out. So it says right off the get-go in the first two cards, she wanted to be happy and she wanted to have money. It says, but there was also things that were from the past or something like a, a past relationship or something that was there. It says, which is interesting, right off the get-go. Um, then it says, in the crossing of that, it says a man that, that was in love with her, or some guy that she was in love with, or someone that loved her, or someone that loves her. Um, we'll see why he's in there. And it says in the past, and I'm going to have to move these out of the way a little bit, because we're going to go three to the left. Um, very interesting. It says in the past, there was she was angry. She was bitter. She was angry. She was pissed. So it's talking about how she was feeling. And then it says, and presently, she's okay now, which is a little strange. Um, okay. I mean, she's in a good place, which is weird. Okay, so it says that she's in a good place. So that's interesting because if you commit suicide, usually you wouldn't be in a good place. It's kind of odd, it's kind of odd right? But if someone killed you and you were a good person, you would be in a good place. So that's an interesting card presently at this moment. It says, in the future, it says judgment. Whew, which hasn't been judged yet. Well, that's interesting. This is getting really interesting. Then it says going up to the top, it says no triumph. So of course she wasn't successful with what she wanted to achieve. It says no brujeria, no fortune. That's interesting. So, but she in the future it says depression. So it's talking about depressed. So she was depressed, but I don't think it's about her being depressed here. I think it's about her being depressed wherever she's at. In other words, the regret of something that happened. Also very interesting. This is getting a little freaky. It says the three to the left say no more opportunities, complete destruction. And then it says true love. Yeah, this is getting <laughs> this is interesting. So they ruled it a suicide already. That's what they're going with right now. Um, but are they still investigating it? Probably. That's all I got in so far. That's interesting. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't say no more. I don't want to hear anymore. I just want. I'm, I'm like getting this vibe. I don't know if you guys are getting it too. It says and broken hearted. <sighs> Damn, you guys sound like the girls at the movies. Girl. Don't go there. Dude, I hate that. When I'm at the movies and then I hear girl, like, or I hear someone, oh my God. Oh no, don't go there. Don't run. Run. I can hate that shit. Okay, here we go. All right, when, when Ellie tells me, oh, what's going to happen? I'm watching the same damn movie. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go back to the middle, and of course in the middle it says, wanted to be happy in money. And then it says, it says no temptations, no evil, but it also says no end. This is weird. It says no more battles, never ending. It says but weak. Didn't like to fight, but was weak. Home now. Weird messages. So kind of saying no temptations, no more like no temptations to do anything. And no temptations, like it says, never ending. So never ending means when you pass away in your spirit, it's never ending. Time is not a thing anymore. You know what I mean? You could be sitting there for a minute and it's been 10 years here. Damn. It's crazy. It's an incontinuum of time that kind of happens. Um, but you don't realize it's not you're sitting there like, damn, it's been like 10 years. It's not like that. They're like so instances. They're like ins time's an illusion. Time's an illusion that's created by people so that you can manage what you do. So here we go. Let's move on because it's talking about home now. And then it says, no battles, no fights. 
a weakness though, a weakness that was home. And then it says, this is interesting, it says, a past relationship. It says, patient in this world. It said, no problems, but something returned to cut off her head. Now she's waiting for God. That's some shit. That tells me if something came back to cut off her head, we know she's dead. There's self-inflicting wounds. There's something that someone's covering up. Something's not right, Tony. It's, she would be saying here in her cards like everybody else has, she was depressed, and depression's coming. But being depressed over not being able to play and being to the point where you would take your life, what could be so devastating besides the fact that, you know, she's not playing? But doesn't mean you can't come back. She's only out for she's only gonna be out for a couple months. That's what I mean. So that's, that's why it's kind of odd to me. Like, why would she commit suicide when she's coming up like that? So yeah, something else sound right. And then here comes the guy right after. So here we go. It says the guy who was in love, and then it says, it says there's one obstacle. It says she was upside down. In other words, she, she was going through stuff. It said money, and then it said a new beginning. It says alone. So, I don't know if she was with someone or she wasn't with someone or they had broken up or something's here, but it's kind of saying she wanted to kind of start, she wanted to make money so she could start something new, like a new beginning in her life. Um, but she still always felt alone. And I don't know if because she wasn't with someone anymore, or, and, and it could be a girl, but there's a guy that was important here. And then it says, I don't know why I get this feeling, girl, too. College, man, college is fine. Wow, bro. I didn't say that. So here we go. It says, in a good place, though, clean now, it says, it keeps saying no about things. So it's saying not complete, like not not completely happy with the way things went out or the way things happened. It says, it should become very clear to you. Now she's talking shit. It says, it should become very clear to you, um, and you should already be sure. It says, yeah, it was a hardship. Don't get me wrong. It says, <laughs> But it's true what you're saying. Someone killed her? I don't know. It doesn't say that yet. We're waiting. We're getting there. This is getting, I'm, I kind of want to go back to the angry woman to I'm see. Woman. Should I? Do it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. It says an angry woman. This is going to the past. Things were incomplete. It says, and she felt like a fool. And it says she wanted to return to love. But there was no triumph. Oof. Things just didn't work out. So there's one thing, but that doesn't mean it killed her or anything, but she was angry because whoever she was in love with, whoever she wanted to be with, things didn't work out, and she felt like she was a fool. I don't know if it's because she's a fool because she went back or a fool because she didn't go back. Something just seems not right there. And then here comes the relationship, and here comes judgment. And it says, a girl... Who didn't see things eye to eye. There'll be no more celebrations. No more discontent. Yeah, that's how you know. And then it says, but I'm free. Free from whatever was bothering her. Whether it was something emotionally or something from a past relationship. Free. free, free, free. I, I know that when I'm alone, I'm always free. So I don't ever think, oh, I'm free. But when I break up with someone, I'll say I'm single or I'm free. You guys will get where I'm going with this. Okay, here we go. It says, in other words, she was free to do whatever she was free to do whatever she wants. She's free now. She's liberated from something that was binding her. <coughs> it says, there was no triumph and there was a ton of burden. It says, and then there was the lover. Uh -huh. It says, and things didn't work out. It says, and the relationship went upside down. It says, and that's what left me hanging. So do you think this is more than maybe she killed herself over her sports? Lover or maybe she killed herself over the lover. Nah. I, say over I mean, here's the thing, though. Here's what you got to understand. Is that when they do forensics, right, they know whether it's an assault where someone's stabbing you or whether you do it to yourself. And the reason they know is because the angle at which you would have to stab yourself, the way your hand would be placed, 
And that, that would be the only way the puncture wound would make a mark at the angle that it goes in. So if someone else stabbed you, it would probably be straight down or come across. But if you stab yourself, it's going to be kind of coming in this way, They're I would think. Like turn the. If they turn the knife on you, yeah, but it's still that's going to still go kind of straight in. When you stab yourself, it's going to go at an angle. Anyways, that's how forensics kind of picks up all that shit. So, if she killed herself, someone that that could be it. You know, she maybe she had a weapon or something, and they turned it on her and got her. But that would still, I mean, that would be a trace of because there'd be a lot of blood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there would there would have to be something like there. Had to be real professional to make it look. It would have to be like a hit. That or someone came and cleaned it up. Okay, anyways, we're getting carried away. Here we go. It says, No uh, brujeria, a girl upside down again. It says, a girl who couldn't master things. And then it says, or couldn't master the situation. It says, family though, that's what she was afraid of losing, was family. It says, but a man still was upside down. So I don't know. Again, here comes a guy upside down. It says, unfortunate... It says, interesting, it says no defense. She couldn't defend herself. So no defense is saying. Upside down. It says good and bad. Death. There it is. I couldn't defend myself. No defense. Or she's saying no defense, like I can't justify I did it. So it's one of the two. But it says not good or bad. Like it was 50-50. It says death. And here comes the last card on top of that. A man upside down who wasn't angry. So, to me, someone did something. And let's just put it this way. If you're going to Stanford, not everyone's on scholarship and not everyone's on grant. But if you're going to Stanford, you got money. Because Stanford is fucking expensive. Yeah, it is. When I was going to get a scholarship, I was like, holy shit. Like, this place costs a lot of money every year. So, he could have been someone's kid. Could be someone. I, I don't know. But it says, the kid, not angry no more. Like... So no defense, death. He had, maybe maybe it's saying she was saying he has no reason he should have been angry. There was no reason for him to have been angry. And then it says depression. This, and it talks about this in the future. It says on a trip. So trip meaning traveling. It's traveling. And it says no more karma. Not brought to my knees, but I'm still upside down. And then it says no more opportunities for love. So all the things that she's not going to be a part of because of what's happened, but there's no karma. You understand that? There's, it says no karma. That's weird. It says no karma. I want you to think about why it says no karma. So if you kill yourself, if you commit suicide, you would have what? If there's no karma on her, then... Well, you guys are getting good at this. I like you guys. <laughs> no, because seriously, like if you were looking at the cards and, and you understand what I'm feeling, and I thought it from the beginning. Why would you have karma? If you kill yourself, you have karma because you're not supposed to take your own life. God didn't give you your life so that you could take it. There's something you had to learn out of it. There's something that you had to become or something that you had to do. You have a job here to do. Everyone does. Some people have jobs that entail helping other people to find who they are, and other people have jobs that will never understand that they have to be in a certain place at a certain time. That's the kind of way God works. So we will just be reborn. Until it, no. Until you learn right. There's two, if, yeah, exactly. Until you learn right. So until you figure yourself out, like you understand, like this is where I was supposed to be from day one, um, then you keep coming back. You, you have a choice. You can come back or you can go to hell. But he said, well, you can go, I'll give you a chance to go back. And try. It's almost like fucking three strikes are out, kind of like, but not really. He said, I'll give you another chance to go back and see if you get it right. But the thing is, you're not born with the same mentality you had that you know you fucked up. You're born, um, what's it called? All over again. Yeah, all over again, but but you're born. Um, oh, like your life path. I get that. Life path. I get that. Kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> you have that choice. If you go to hell, then you don't know how long you're going to be there until you get a chance to come out of there, or even if you ever do. And if you make that choice, then you're screwed. Or you can choose to stay, which is in limbo, and those are the spirits that stick around here that sometimes are bad, sometimes are good, or they get stuck here because they're afraid to go to the light. A lot of different things. Um, but yeah, this is if there's no there's no karma, so that means she didn't kill herself. 
That should make it all, that's, that's the odd. The reason I know is because I try to take my life, and I think almost everybody knows, and I cut my wrist both ways. And still, I had karma for that, for disrespecting who I'm supposed to be and not finding out what God's intentions were for me. So I had to beg and plead. Um, and both ways, you're not supposed to come back. So to me, yeah, there, there was karma, a lot of karma I had to pay back to make up for. So I know if she took her life, she would have had karma, tons of it. All right, so what I have to, oh, these are the three go in the middle. Okay. I was like, why the fuck do I have these? So what's crazy is it says, no more opportunities for love. Everything's been destroyed. Even true love. It says, everything's blocked. What? Everything's blocked now. It says, and slowly, it says, a man, that's my card. It says, a man phew, helps me to find my. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm not, I'm not saying. Get the, uh, <laughs> oh, oh my, get the spirit box out, yeah. Where's, wait, I'm going to check my, no, wait, 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 my belly button. Oh, where is the meter? Is that where you had up? Oh, uh, don't do that. I have the, I have the cotton on. Yeah, Why didn't you tell us? Yeah. Okay, she's not coming for you, she can't get into you. Maybe Sam. So that's crazy. Hey. <laughs> did I put the last card on the middle? No, yeah, yeah, I did, huh? No, I didn't. Okay, so. It says, yeah, find her journey so she will, you know, for destruction. Yeah, you put your card in there. No, I put this one and this one. Um, but it's saying that I'm going to help her find her path out of destruction. So some people, when they die, they're, they're angry or they can't figure out what to do or whatever. So uh, we're going to get a visit. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I got one more. It says, broken heart. You guys need a babysitter? It says, returning. It says, mystically, and then it says, things delayed. She must have already been judged. It says, no mom yet, and then it says, a baby girl. Aww. So she's saying, I'm already going to get a chance to come back. So she, already made, she already made a deal. So she's coming back. It says, although there's no sun right now and no decisions to make, she says, and no fruit in the tree, she says, there's a big change coming for me. Aww. That's badass. Big change for her that's coming. So that means she's going to come back. She'll be born again. But she's already made her deal. Because she didn't do anything bad. So I think that's what... I don't know how it works with her. I mean, I know how certain things work. Because I've so talked to spirits. But but you get a choice, huh? So she's coming back Yeah. So I wonder who she's going to be. Wouldn't that be bad, scary if she comes back and her name's Katie? Thank you.